So y'all know I don't like social media. I don't, I don't care for it. So I, I was going to be quiet about the whole situation. You know, I was going to be the bad guy. But I'm not about to let a person who used me for their success, the whole marriage, run my name through the mud. Okay, so that was um, Ashley's husband or ex-husband, I don't know yet, um, saying that he wasn't going to let a person run his name through the mud, speaking about Ashley. And what's crazy is that Ashley has not said one thing bad about him. In fact, she asked that people don't speak badly about him. If it hadn't have been for the side chick, nobody would have ever known. You know, it's just crazy to me how fast a man can switch up like that, especially when he's the one that fucked up. I thought Ashley's husband didn't like social media, so why did he make a TikTok? Hello, my name is Rhea, as in Rhea the Last Dragon. If you are seeing my face, you've made it to Combat Jail Lady TikTok. Now, I don't know why men who are allegedly in the wrong always got to come out and make their revelations like the random man in Atlanta, but apparently Ashley's husband wants to share his side of the story and made a TikTok page to boot. Now, even though he doesn't do social media and want to stay quiet, he goes on to say that he's not going to let someone else who used him for their success throughout the entirety of their marriage to run his name through the mud. But sir, Ashley never said your name. Hell, I don't even know what his name is. Like, sir, you wouldn't have had to make an addressing it video in the first place if you didn't message a smex worker about your marriage. Come on now. But it seems like Mr. Man got something here to say. So let's hear him out. This is his TikTok page, by the way. And Lord, not him saying slave for combat jail. Y'all, I cannot with the dramatics. Now, remember, Ashley did say that one of the reasons why she removed him from her TikTok page is because he never really wanted to be on social media anyway. And I also believe he really wasn't feeling these combat gel TikToks that they would do or wig installation TikToks because his face was always looking some type of way. So maybe he really was a slave for combat gel. And one thing that Ashley has not done is drag this man's name through the mud. She hasn't really said much of anything. All she said is that her marriage is going to have to be something that her and her husband work out. That's it. She didn't blame the Smex worker. She didn't blame anyone. She is just focused on healing and how she plans to navigate this new chapter of her life. Y'all, this is about to get messy. Tell me down below what you think he's going to say. Once again, my name is Rhea the Last Dragon, and I've just given you your Combat Gel Lady update.